Amy Myron. I'm the director of A Christmas Story. This is our family dog. This is Ophelia. She's seven years old. We adopted her from um, the Humane Society. She's a great Pyrenees. She, too, is very excited to be in Christmas Story as a bumpus hound. And this is Trooper, our dog, one of our dogs at our house. Uh, he weighs 100 pounds, and he worked so hard at one of our re long rehearsals um, over the weekend that um, he went home and nearly could not contain himself. He was so, so tired, but he just has to, he cannot turn his brain off. He has to say hi to everyone and love and cuddle, and then to the point of exhaustion, truly. The only person in the cast who can give the dog a treat is Adam, who plays the old man in the play. I'm Adam Hammer. I am the old man in A Christmas Story, and I get the pleasure of working with the Bumpus Hounds. We chase me out on the stage, and they know I have the treats. I'm actually the only one with the treats, so they know they can't get anything, uh, anything from anybody else. So um, that's how we've been working with the dogs and getting them to, to pay attention just to me. Uh, we have to get them to come through doorways. We have to get them to chase me on and off stage, so it's... It's interesting uh, doing that and working with animals that you can't really talk reason to. So <laughs> I, have, I have pockets full of treats and cheese and all kinds of goodies that they absolutely love and I get covered in slobber and fur. And Trooper here is, uh, he's kind of an in-your-face doggy. He likes to lick your face. He likes to, he likes to make sure you know that he's, uh, he's there. And Ophelia is just, Ophelia is a big, big sweetheart. Um, she's very calm, but when she runs, it's, uh, it's impressive. Yes, to say the least. It, 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 all that fur gets moving and she's just got such a big smile on her face all the time, it seems like. So these, they're just great dogs to work with. Um, and I've really enjoyed it. It's been an incredible experience. I think we did a good job of what really motivates the dogs. We talked a lot about treats. The only person in the cast who can give the dogs treats is Adam, who plays the old man, because he's the only one to interact with the dogs in the play. And so that uh, the dogs know when he walks in the room that they may get a treat from him, as opposed to getting treats from the rest of the cast and things like that. So we planned that on purpose. But everybody else gets to give the dogs a lot of love. And I think it's kind of a cool, rare thing in a, in a theater production to have these four-footed um, actors um, be, in our, be in our show. It, it, kind of adds to our camaraderie and our overall happy fun feeling here.